am I just the shadow you drew? As days go, Lance Alexander was having a bad one. He was running late for work. And would get there only to be accused of slacking off again by his boss, Lando. Which he never did. His son was in hospital. And he hadn't got a wink of sleep all night. He came direct from the hospital. He had a fort which would change his life forever. He thought he could try go back in time with magic which he possessed. It was a thing he would regret for the rest of his long life. He parked his car and a portal appeared out of thin air. As Wormholes went, it looked nothing special, so he didn't think anything was wrong with it. He walked into it on the other side. It looked the same, so he didn't twig anything was wrong. He rushed to his work. It was not there, and the streets looked wrong. Something feels off. He muttered. I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore, Toto. Not that he was in America. He was in Australia. When he started. Now the vibe was off. It felt like the same place. On his head. He found a library in a place called Croydon. Which he'd never seen before and went to a computer his and his father's names only to find references to them were in books fiction books at that apparently they weren't real people he realised in that world they were just ideas of an author it was either remote writing or had created their world from scratch. He wondered what sort of mind could create them. He searched for the writer's website. He figured she wasn't too mad. She seemed to be nice enough. From the author's advice on her website and a little proud of her ancestors, some of whom were writers too. He thought she must have dreamed up the world he was from over the years from her website. It meant he was just a dream and his world was not real. It came to Lance as a total shock being a fake person from a fake world. He wanted to confront her and ask her why she made his world and his life like hell. He tried to find her in the phone book. She wasn't there. He found her when he apparated to where she was and appeared on her doorstep. Looking in the window, he saw a big couch and two hands typing on a computer. The owner seemed totally unaware of him being there as he freaked out. He left the way he came, resolving to confront her as she slept. He returned when she slept, apparating into the house and spoke to her as she slept. He asked her why she was so mean to her characters. She mumbled back. She just lets the words come out and they write themselves. He asked her where did you come up with your characters. She replied slowly bit by bit over 30 years of writing. They came to life. Then out of nowhere a portal appeared. 
and sucked him in. The author awoke in horror, seeing the non-existent man disappear into a wormhole and was gone. He appeared in the halls of time, being chastised by his brother for trying to travel in time without his help. What did you see there? asked his brother. Some things are best not spoken of, Lance said, and that was the end of it. Needless to say, he was late for work by over a day. His brother had been frantically trying to find him since he disappeared from their timeline.